Welcome back. How's everybody doing? I'm Mr. MKL. Thanks for joining me for another Niche Fighter Monday, where we are checking out the Laptop Arcade 7. Now folks, what have we learned so far today? What have, what have we learned? One, that I decided to spend the weekend playing this thing instead of the KOF beta. Two, it is the most cursed piece of hardware that I have seen in a good while. And three, I can't stop playing it. So, <laughs> this is fascinating. What we need to do is, seriously, if anybody out there knows something about how to rip APKs from Android devices, y'all need to hit me up, because we're going to figure this one out, right? Like, I don't want to have to destroy it to do it if I can avoid it. I will take it apart. Um, but holy heck, this is, this is what we need more of in our lives, folks. This is genuinely it. Oh, Monk, you had the game, child? Oh, dear lord, yes. Shudders indeed, Punk. <sighs> oh, dear lord, yes. I see you're talking about the R-Zone a bit up there. Yeah, that was the discovery of a lifetime for me. Holy heck. It was a bit of, like, video game history I just didn't know existed. Part of me feels like it's the worst for having to actually experience it. The other part of me just feels blessed that I got to see what it was like. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. I want to see that. So, we're going to get into it in a second. I've got, I've got about a half a tank of gas left on this bad boy here. Um, I've, I've thrown it into the charger to maybe get a little bit extra juice just to make sure uh, we can go for a good long while. Um, but yeah, we're going to check out Fighting Masters. Oh man. So, yeah, we learned a little bit about this thing so far, right? I bought it from the Wolson store on AliExpress. It's also sold by a few different named companies. They seem to be a, like... Um, like Li Ha Wu, I think is the name of the company, and it's like the handheld electronics subsidiary of a larger Chinese manufacturer. And uh, they sell a bunch of stuff on, um, on Amazon and stuff. You'll find a lot of their cheap electronics, kids' electronics, edutainment games, stuff like that. You'll see a whole ton of it. Um, and that's mainly what they focus on. And then like cheap knockoffs that kind of look like PSPs or Switches, but just play like retro games. So... We, that's that's what we know a little bit about it, right? And then they have this Lemon On OS, or Lemon On is the name of their um, development house. Unsure about that one. And they've made a handful of obviously like uniquely designed games for this thing. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to figure out more about the makers of this because this is it is something else. Let me get my battery and let's get back into this. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure for the TI-83. Yo, if I don't play the JoJo Roblox fighting game before I get into any other JoJo stuff, I, th I think Mr. Sup might have my head. Oh man, alright, I gotta like, get, like, harnessed around this thing. This is unbelievable. Alright. Yeah, Alpha 1, and like, what was it? Was it Alpha 2 that was on the Super Nintendo? Which was like, honestly, a remarkably great adaptation of that game, all things considered. <coughs> Fighting Master Ultimate. Oh man, okay. I think it's worth noting... Okay, AI. I'm going to turn the AI to normal, because if it was, the first one was any indication, at least we have a difficulty selector on this one. Alright, folks. This is the original unique title. Fighting Masters. Oh, man. It is an interesting interesting game maybe you recognize this one yeah sf4 the movie the game 100 percent it's better than old ryu my friends 
It's Osagot. So this is very clearly a mod of Street Fighter 4. Did y'all hear that? Fight! I spent way too many years hearing that fight playing at my weeklies, alright folks? The instant that I booted up this game, I am like, holy heck, this is... This is Street Fighter 4. I need to explain to you why this game is the most cursed game ever. You might notice... The top row gives you kicks. The bottom row gives you... WHO DESIGNED THIS?! WHO DID THIS?! And this is obviously, this tablet is not built to handle this game. There is like... Like a half second, a quarter second of input lag. And look, every single time, you look on the left hand side here, you look right here, every single time I press any one input, it doubles the input. No matter what, I just, one tap, two, one tap, two inputs, every single time. This is not right, and no, they're not remappable. First. So, inputs. All right, A and X is throw, B and Y is throw. What's our move list looking like? It doesn't even start on the character that you are. So there's no like quarter circles um, or anything like that. It's all double tap. So it's back forward, down downs, um, and stuff like that. Which is a good thing because this game does not know how to read inputs. So here we go. We got we got some sagat. And look, this thing is running at like 28 frames a second. This thing thinks it's a freaking And like, yeah, some of these moves, y'all recognize these moves, right? Look, I've seen this chop before. Oh, oh, what's this? And here's it. Because the inputs double up, it's like impossible to get Dragon Punch. I can't do it. It just doesn't do it. And seriously, this is not my stream lagging, folks. This is not my stream lagging. This is the game lagging on the laptop. We got throws, though. That's literally his MP animations rip right from Street Fighter. I'm telling you! I'm telling you! Legitimately though, like, I can't- there you go, I got an EX! Boom! I got an EX! But I legit, I've done all I can to get this dragon punch, down down, punch, Yeah, it's Yuri and Stan Heavy Punch Laser, that's right. Boom. If only I had a mirror as well. And everyone has one super, but like I said, I cannot... There we go. Wait, what was that? <laughs> Fucking ducky. Yeah, this robo patch looks weird. They really changed the visual style of the game. What even is that? 
It's like a tiger cancel, but none of the inputs come out, so you can't do anything with it. All right. Hey, don't be like that. Did I forget to update the title of the screen stream? I swear I updated it. Yeah, it, it's not Angry Scar, it's like a tiger cancel, basically, right? And it's two bars, and it just cancels the animation, but, like, I push buttons afterwards, and frickin' nothing comes out. So, let us let me check out... I want to see this Lily girl, because there was another girl I saw in one of the, one of the videos, um, and it was, like, Sakura. It was Sakura. So, I'm like, alright, is this the girl? I gotta figure that- Let, let's check out another- another stage. Underground. Round one. Oh god! They used an original round one, and then they just had to use the Street Fighter 4 announcer fight. No Guile win quote. No HDMI out that, I, that I'm able to get, right? Like, there might be one on the tablet physically inside this thing. Um, but from, like, here? No. No access. Ah, ah. This is Sakura. That's Sakura. I've been beaten up enough as Sakura to know that that sounds like her. And that's, like, it's like her, uh, right? It's her, um... Uh, Shuken. But they just use kick animations instead. Oh, and there's her Tatsu. That recovery! I'm hold- oh man! Okay, what are her inputs here? Back forward ABC, back forward AB, back forward BC. It's all back forwards, and then a down down for screw. Alright. Can I get it? No. It just doesn't come out! Oh, that's definitely SF5 Lucia. Even better. I didn't notice. Oh, hello. She's got a shoulder charge? Come on, let me- can I get a three-hit combo, maybe? Heck yeah. Boom, I'm a god! Come on! Ah, oh. Dude, this game is so jank. Like, how do you- how do you mess up a mod of Street Fighter 4 to the point where, like, the inputs are just no longer recognized? That's actually amazing that that's Lucia. I haven't played enough Street Fighter V lately to really recognize it, so... Oh, jeez. And then, yeah, like... Once again, the like the special or the super doesn't really do what I th think it should. Hey. 
It's so wonky. Everything about this is so wonky. Yeah, the stage description also totally inaccurate. How is this underground? Right? I like... Ah. Man, the, the like, the struggles with getting these moves out. And there's a throw, okay. And this is wild. And there's no, you can't even go to character select, so you gotta go back to the main screen and then back into the fucking thing. All right, Nick. Let's see what you're all about. Oh, heck yeah. No, I've saved this receipt. This is the first thing I'm going to make the uh, government of Canada reimburse me on. Bets are placed on Zangief. Nice. Round one. Or Abel? Do we have Abel instead? Oh, that's Geef. That's Geef. Ooh yeah. Yup. That's Zangief. You're totally right, Andrea. Holy heck. Oh my. <laughs> the combo what is the command list on this yo wait the name was wrong Th is this nick i thought this was nick oh no they're down downs i'm never gonna be able to get this out Oh my. Oh my, this is so cursed. Why? Why is it like this? Oh yeah, the knee drop. This is fucking beautiful. Okay, that's a different throw. So, you have to use medium attacks to throw back, and then you use light attacks to throw forward. And then I guess, okay, and then, yeah. Oh my lord.
Oh, jeez! Okay! Okay, you just gotta mash the heck out of everything. Look, I'm doing, I'm doing all the motions. You can, you can see it on the left hand side there, right? Where I just press and hold down and it's two down inputs. So in theory, down and punch should be my other special. Even if I do it twice, I got nothing! Wow. Yo, they even do have combos listed here. EX Tornado C... Oh, you can do- really? Oh wow, okay. We got links. Oh! Oh, I can't link into it? Come on! Oh, that's so unfortunate. I really wanted that. No diagonals. Yeah, exactly. That's how you know they're like, we don't have a system that actually... Oh. Oh, no. The battery is getting low. Well, folks. We're gonna have a limited time. We got 15% left on our, on our lovely arcade. No more messing around, I guess. Story mode. Of course I'm playing Nick. Oh, I get to select my opponent in story mode. The ultimate stage is the desirable destination of all fighters. All resentments will come to an end. Prove your strength with actions. I, for the final victory, will defeat all opponents with extraordinary power. This is beautiful. Round yeah, one. give me a sec. I gotta make sure if this will... <laughs> it said it won't charge while it's operational, but we'll find out about that. Yo, if it buys us some time, it buys us some time. Is that Adon's voice? I think it is. I think that's Adon. There we go. Yeah, he's Rog with Adon's voice. It's so beautiful. 
the cheese and the jank in this game is just, oh, mwah, chef's kiss. Yo, we got anti-airs. Let's go! Did that technically combo? Like, I only punched him once and I got a three hit. And that it is! It's Street Fighter's exact, exact KO. It's so perfect. Yo! Monk, uh, sorry, um, Taco, yeah, it's, uh... Oh shit, oh shit, here we go. Hello, Ryu. Oh damn! Was that even- that looked even more like Akuma's Dragon Punch. <laughs> Best stream I've ever had. Well, I don't know if that's a testament to how awesome this is or how bad my usual streams are. You ain't jumping that. One, two, three! Yes. And it did! It gives me like an extra two hits on my combo for some reason after I land that super. Oh yes, Toby, I'm glad that you have been here to, to witness this. I'm so happy that you're around to witness this. Oh, it's so delightful. Oda? So wait, that's... Oh no, she's got the... She's got the Sakura Fireball, but the, um... What is that? Is that Jury or is that Chun? I think it's... I think it's Chun. Oh, but this is like the actual Sakura character. That's so funny. Yo, they're like, they're super smart where they're just like, look, if we, um, oh shit, that comboed. The meaty lariat? Combo off it without meter? All right. Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah, it's like a strange mix of Street Fighter 4 and Street Fighter 5. Ah oh, shit, the anti-air fireball! Yo, I gotta go find this girl out. Oh my god, this is amazing. Yes, she's got the Shuken, it's perfect! Oh, am I too far? I'm not too far. Buddy, I think that grabs no matter where they are. Yes. Yo, I am I am hyped. I don't care. Yo, she can beat the shit out of me. This is fucking amazing. Everything about this is so weird. It is. It's a freaking fever dream, man. This is so weird. Yes, and also, people, you, I need to note that I am, in fact, all the punches are on the bottom row and all the kicks are on the top row.
Oh, she can crouch that. All right. Yo, but Turbo Taco, who needs Project L when you have this fucking monstrosity? I think they finally loaded all the characters into RAM so that it's starting to play a little bit more smoother. Because, like, it was chugging along super hard earlier on. Get gribbled! Oh no, I just wanted a regular throw. Come on. All right, folks, are we are we back? Hopefully, we're back. You might have to apologies if you have to sit through another um, another ad roll. But we're bringing it back. We're bringing it back, folks. Oh, pretty please. Let me know that you're all, uh... Back. Excellent. Awesome. Awesome. Whoo! Whoo, that was close. Okay. Hopefully we can, uh... We can remain for a little while longer. Dude, did we just discover, though, I have an air lariat? This is so fucking good. Oh, God. Oh, no! Not the tiger shots! Oh, no, no, like, big stagger? No, no huge stagger? Yes, and there's an EX Lariat. Lariat is just forward and, like, back forward heavy is, uh, or back forward punch is Lariat. So there's an, there's an EX Lariat, which sends you into the air and lets you combo out of it. Ah! Knee drop, there we go. Do it again. Come on, we've all we've all done that. Jump in, stand light kick, lariat, FADC, tick throw. It's true, that's the problem. Every time I do the EX Lariat, I'm one step further away from doing the super, which is like a blessing. It's the biggest blessing that I've ever had playing this game. And that's it! Yo, no credit roll! No nothing! That's just what it is! We don't got no fucking, like, rip game, we're done! I can't actually tell if the game music is original or taken from anything else. The story was the fun we had along the way. Absolutely. That is that is not a word of a lie for that. Right? Nothing worse. I remember beating Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1 on the NES and being like, that's it? It's like a single splash screen where you're like, I guess good stuff. And that's it. And if I can cut back to title screen. So... 
this one does not have because it is only the CPU 2 player one. And if you go into setup, it's just AI effect music. That's all we got. And even like none of the touchscreen stuff works. Yes, Laser Scraper. Th this kind of stuff kind of does make you want to make a game out of sheer spite. Like, if they're doing this and they're selling this, why couldn't I? Any, I, I, I need to, I need to go get like a 15-year-old version of Unity that I can like, or like fucking Unreal Engine, and just do like a, a, a shitty UT2000 mod, right? And then sell that in some little box on AliExpress. Apparently, that's the the wave of the future. Ducky, they've made more than that. There are now three confirmed purchases of the Laptop Arcade 7. So, yeah, but Toby, confirmed no versus mode in this one. There is a versus mode in Rupture Void. There is a 2P option that pops up, but I don't have a USB cable that can connect micro to micro, which is what I need. So, once I dig that up, I am 100% testing out to see if I can get two players working on this thing. Because my friends, this Rupture Void is gonna be the first fucking game that I run when I get back to in-person weeklies. Ah, you think that the USB connection is to link these? That would be interesting. That would be the other option. I would hope that you could just hook up a USB gamepad to it. That would be my desperate hope, but yeah. How funny would it be if you needed to? Dude, that would like, it would line up with all of the other nonsense that this whole freaking thing is though. Like, like folks, the Laptop Arcade 7 is a very small unit. Like, it's got a couple of um, things on the side and on the back here, it's just button, SD card slot, USB slot and headphone out. Like, there's not much, it's just a solid plastic case, and honestly, there's like, there's there's a bit of a seam here, if you see right along where the uh, the bezel of the lap of the tablet is, and I'm like, do I have to dig this thing out? Like, is that what's gonna have to happen? Because, unless... Right? Okay. So there are screws under each of these pads, right? So under each of these, there's screws. So I'm gonna have to see how much like damage I have to do to this thing to actually dig it apart. But it's teeny, like... I can cover the stick and all the buttons with one hand. If not, you'll have to fly out to Canada to test 2P, absolutely. So this is the thing, I'm super worried though that I'm gonna crack this, yeah exactly, live uncasing, right? I'm super worried that I'm gonna crack this thing apart and then I'm just never gonna be able to get it back together or something's gonna come apart and it's gonna be fucking messed up, right? And I don't wanna do that until I've at least like done some more experimentation and gotten some more like documentation about this thing. We'll see, like, like I said, I, I want to get more out of it, um, but I also want to be able to get these games off, and I'm not going to be able to do that with this thing in its case. So at some point, I'm going to have to take it apart. Whether or not we do that on stream, that remains to be seen. Okay, yeah, I got a, I got a, I got a couple quick minutes. 